Hello everyone and welcome back. In our today's video, we will talk about a very important tool in project management, cash flow diagrams. A cash flow diagram visually represents income and expenses over time interval. The diagram consists of a horizontal line with markers at a series of time intervals. At appropriate times, expenses and costs are shown. Before we get to the table and describe everything step by step, first of all, let's describe the diagram here. As we said in the definition, the horizontal axis shows the time interval of the project, while the vertical axis shows the amount of cost. In here, two vertical axes are shown. The first one is the primary vertical axis, which represents the cumulative costs of the project. The next one is the secondary vertical axis. This shows costs at different time intervals. So if you want to read the costs at time intervals, you have to refer to this axis. If you want to read the cumulative costs, you will refer to this primary axis here. This diagram is generated based on the data from this table. In this table, as you can see, we have a schedule for a small project. In this schedule for convenience, we have shown only the start date in order to plot this diagram. We haven't shown any end date or duration. In the next section, this is the cost estimation. Resource name for each activity is given. The unit which we measure this resource with is given. Quantity of each resource is needed to perform the specific task is given. Unit cost of each resource is given, total cost is given, and then cumulative cost is given. I have assigned specific formulas for each of these. If you wanted this template so you can better understand the cash flow diagrams, please do not hesitate to ask about it in the comments section. Project management software as MS Project and Primavera, they can automatically generate such diagrams. But in case you don't use them and you want to represent your work using Microsoft Excel, this is how you do it. It's done as it's shown in this video. Let's modify the information given in the table here and see what happens to our cash flow diagram. For example, the quantity of excavator needed for excavation is 2. And the unit cost for each of them will be $250. The amount of rollers that we need to perform backfilling and compaction will be three. Each of them will cost us, for example, 300 US dollars. As you can see, there are changes in the diagram. We need 150 squared meters of plywood panels for our formwork for foundation. But in case it's 250 square meters, there will be changes to our cash flow diagram. Please do not hesitate to ask for this template in the comment section. I will be more than glad to share it with you. If you found the contents in this video informative, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.